the strip that by the way for the most part is outside of las vegas the majority of the strip is located within clark county las vegas celebrated its one hundredth birthday on may the fifteenth two thousand five and ever since it's seen a little of this and a little of that there are about two million people living in clark county and out of that about six hundred thousand live in las vegas which by the way is the fastest growing city in the united states of america of course there are also many people who leave las vegas but the monthly influx of people is a huge challenge to the city you don't pay any income state tax and the sun shines 294 days a year so it's understandable people are moving to las vegas but also because the old town is competitive and back in 1905 there was a building on fremont street and throughout the time the railroad boom was going on and the town was filled with whiskey wine women and poker chips and that building was sold for an astronomic one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars and in 1906 the first hotel and casino opened its doors to the public in those days the number eight hotel and casino was asking for number one but it wasn't for the last one down but the number one of the nine hotels in the country until 1931 gambling was growing big in las vegas coming up on the right plan of hollywood with its casino famous restaurants and they're the one and a half mile long miracle mile shopping area with more than 170 retailers and 15 restaurants in the old days about a romantic kiss in the city of lights the eiffel tower replica is about half the size of the original in france now while these two vary in height there are many similarities between them both have an enclosed observation deck for safety as well as a glass elevator to admire the stunning vistas on the way to the top if you find yourself visiting the real thing in paris don't forget to look us up at www.opentopsightseeing.com we're in paris too It was top of the town 
back in 2007, the monorail aided in the elimination of an estimated 3.2 million vehicle miles from Southern Nevada's major roadways. We're heading towards another fine casino and hotel, Harris, Las Vegas. Now, Harris, by the way, is one of the big-time players here in Las Vegas. They own seven hotel casinos in Caesars, the Flamingo, Valleys, the Imperial, Rio, and Paris, Las Vegas. Eat, drink, dance, and play. You can have it all at the most exciting outdoor entertainment venues on the Las Vegas Strip. The Carnival Court Bar and Grill. lesson. 10,000 years ago, Paleo Indians first visited the Las Vegas Valley and left behind petroglyphs that help us tell the early history. But let's jump up until more recently and the year of 1829. This year, a young scout of European ancestry discovered a valley with abundant wild grasses and plenty of water. He named it Las Vegas, which is Spanish for now let's move to early 1900, when work on the railroad began, and to accommodate those hard-working men, stores, workhouses, and saloons were established. This cocktail kept law enforcement occupied with many drinking-related things. In 1909, the Nevada legislature created Clark County, named after William Clark, who brought the railroad to Southern Nevada, Las Vegas became the county seat. Now hang in there, because in 1910, the strictest anti-gambling law ever. You weren't even allowed to flip a coin for the price of your next drink. And as you already guessed, within days, underground gambling began and continued so up until 1931, when gambling was legalized, and a month later, the first six gambling licenses were issued. In the same year, construction of Hoover Dam began, and Las Vegas grew to a population of more than 5,200. And about the same time, with more than 10,000 employees, you have to think about a parking garage for them, right? I think it's fascinating. The monorail of us is the first worldwide driverless public one of its kind, and so is two of us. No, 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 don't worry, I'm just kidding. The original one-mile monorail ran between the MGM Grand and Valleys. It was built in 1993. The expansion was completed in 2004, and today it runs four miles and serves seven stops.
in addition to the 1.8 million square feet at the Sands Expo Center and Venetian Congress facility to our left, there's an even bigger convention center east of us. Las Vegas hosts almost 24,000 conventions, accommodating more than 6 million buildings. We're approaching our next stop at the Wynn Hotel, one of the finest hotels in Las Vegas.